Senators are hoping to get answers on what could be the country's biggest money laundering case, but they ended up with denials from bank officials and those linked to the scandal. Rizal Commercial Banking Corporation President Lorenzo Tan defended himself against accusations he knows the transactions. We vehemently deny and disavow any and all knowledge, complicity, or participation in the alleged money laundering of 100 million U.S. dollars in the Philippines. He was unaware of the 81 million dollars from the Bangladesh Central Bank's account in New York that ended up in RCBC's Jupiter branch in Makati in February. Tan explains big fund transfers do not need his approval. Because to impose such a requirement would slow down the process that needs to be expeditious and efficient. He adds transactions cleared under an international fund transfer network called SWIFT can enter their system without need for bank authorization. International remittances under accurate SWIFT instructions are credited to the beneficiaries' accounts without need of any manual intervention. RCBC branch manager Maia Santos de Guito earlier said in an interview, Tan may have been aware of the transaction. Tan is dismissing the claim, saying he doesn't know De Guito. But De Guito says Tan recruited her in October 2013. For most of the hearing, Tan and De Guito cited the bank secrecy law to avoid answering questions of the senators. I would like to invoke my right to um, self-incrimination and I will answer that in an executive session. But Filipino-Chinese businessman William Go pinned down De Guito. He claims De Guito apologized to him as his identity was used in the transactions. Bank records show Goh's account opened on February 9, recorded cash deposits equivalent to a number of dollar withdrawals in the same Jupiter branch. Go denies having an RCBC account. He adds the accounts listed under his name in the Anti-Money Laundering Council report are fictitious. Go says he is seeking the help of the National Bureau of Investigation on the fictitious accounts. Senators want to finish the investigation within March. For now, they're saying the crime was well-planned and involved many individuals. Rex Remitio, CNN Philippines.